New tonight, millions of people will head to Park County in the coming days for the annual Covered Bridge Festival. It is the biggest festival of the state, one of the biggest in the nation. Tommy Poole was there today to see what goes into getting ready for the 10-day event and why the community says even with the some headaches, the event is well worth it. It's October, and in Park County, that means it's the most wonderful time of the year. It's basically the Christmas season. You know, the 10 days is the big push for Christmas, and we've got some uh, new businesses that have opened in town. The anticipation of the Covered Bridge Festival is growing as the second Friday of the month gets closer. While the community is excited, they know the next few weeks will be quite busy. We um, don't get any days off. Um, all the guys um, work some extra. Um, we have reserves that help us out and some part-time officers that help us out. Businesses on the Rockville Square will be doing the same, opening early and not closing until the last shopper is out. When they only come for 10 days, I think the worst thing you can do is turn the lights off and tell somebody to get out of your store. Nearly 2 million people are expected in Park County, which means expect some delays. Traffic people just have to be patient. There's no place to move them to, so um, we have a few minor fender benders and some angry people, but most generally everybody that comes to the festival knows what they're expecting. They're expecting long lines and traffic and, and hard to find parking spots. During recent festivals, the county hasn't had too many problems with accidents or pedestrian injuries. Police Chief Randall Nealon would like to see that continue. Just be careful and drivers should be uh, slowing down, paying more attention to their surroundings. Try not to watch the sides of the road as much as they are watching the road itself and, and uh, the edges of the road. Don't try to window shop driving down the road. While there may be some headaches involved, shop owners in the area say it's vital to their business, not only growing the festival's future, but also building clientele all year long. We get the same people back every year, and they always stop in the store to see how you're doing, because you don't see many variety stores anymore. We get a lot of people, you know, that return. They come back in the summer, and like I said, that's what makes the festivals, the people. That was Tommy Poole reporting the Covered Bridge Festival starts Friday. It'll run through October 22nd.